hello everyone. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. My name is Brittany. I am the Senior Community and Education Manager here at Evernote. I have the privilege and honor of working with some of the brilliant Evernote experts. Uh, and I am joined by the one and only Ms. Lydia Martin today. Yay, Brittany. I always love doing things with you. You're so awesome. <laughs> I love your Thanks interview. Thanks for having just, me. <laughs> every time I hang out with you, I just like can't stop smiling. You're so much fun. <laughs> I love it. So people say you laugh when you talk. And I didn't even realize I did that till someone mentioned it to me. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's like such a beautiful compliment. <laughs> I'm excited though. Always love chatting about Evernote. I love that. I love that. So um, you have been an Evernote user for a really long time, right? 2013 it changed my life. Oh my gosh. And you have had a lot of life-changing moments in the past two and a half years. Yes. Yes. Tell in us fact, a little bit about that. I, I did. I, I always tell people I did not come out of the womb an organized person. So if I can create organized systems, anyone can. <laughs> but yes, prior to 2013, I had was in a direct sales home-based business. I had had that business for 17 years and I just was felt so cluttered and scattered, you know, 99% of the time could never see my desk. I didn't have any systems for paper and then eventually digital clutter and the mental clutter was always so overwhelming. And someone introduced me to Evernote in 2013. Truthfully, it sat on my computer for six months and I didn't touch it. <laughs> right. I'd You're probably a very lot, common actually. story. Yeah. Right. So I, I phoned a friend and I said, you have, to, you have to explain why everyone's so excited. And so just by her sharing a few things, I just caught the big picture, caught the vision. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, maybe this could be my online system, my place mm -hmm. where all the clutter lives, that one place. And over the next three years, became a, a certified consultant in 2016, of course, now called experts. And in that three-year journey, my life and business completely changed. And I'm so grateful to Evernote. I'm so grateful, in fact, that I launched a business in 2020 that helps other people now learn these wonderful tips and strategies. So very grateful. <laughs> it's yeah, that's been incredible. Awesome. And, and, you know, I think that's just such a, like, that's goals, you know, I mean, to own your own business, to mm -hmm. launch it in the middle of a global pandemic, yep. you know, like, what a resource uh, you have been to so many people looking to, you know, just, just do it, take the plunge, just launch it, launch the business. Yes. Yes. I launched, I, and it, ironically, I launched two weeks before COVID shut down the world. And I was so thankful because, you know, a lot of people did come home and said, I need some organization in my life. I need to do some things with my business, but yes, launched that business in March and I've loved just sharing over the last two and a half years, helping people really just clear clutter and get those systems down that are going to help you move forward. So it's been a lot of fun. I love that. Uh, I, I love the concept of organizing, you know, paper home, mm. it, you know, I go to the container store and just empty my <laughs> pockets. Um, but no one really thinks about like the amount of digital pile up. The digital clutter itself is, and that's really my expertise and focus. You know, I always say, if you want to organize your pantry, I'm not your girl. <laughs> but if you want to organize that computer so it is efficient and it is working for you, um, I will say the Evernote Web Clipper is probably one of the ultimate tools for digital organization. I don't know how people live without the web clipper, being able to take anything online and add it yeah. to an Evernote note. It, it really is a, the ability to take everything out of your brain, out of your thought processes and put it in a place where, you know, you can find and utilize it again. It's very exciting. Yes. I, the web clipper like reduces the amount of tabs I have open. <laughs> that is absolutely people have, I work with people and I, they share their screen and they have 150 tabs over. I'm like, let me introduce you to the Evernote web clipper. <laughs> I love it. Um, aside from the web clipper, where do you think on people's computers does like the most like clutter hide? Like I, I'm trying to think like, 
Is it my downloads folder? Is it my email? Like, where do you typically if, start? <laughs> well, it is all those things for sure. But if you could see some of the desktops I've seen, a lot of people, I know we're in survival mode, right? We're, mm-hmm. we're, we're trying to live in the moment. So what people typically do when they're downloading something, they don't know where they want to put it. They don't have a plan, right? I always tell people you need a plan and you need a place. The plan is the strategy. The place is where that thing lives. So if you know you where the content's going to live, whether that's Evernote or a folder on your computer, wherever that thing lives, and now you have a plan for how to handle that information to get it there, that's where those streamlined systems come in, right? So if I know that when I'm downloading things, what folder it's going into, or if, I, if I'm adding it as an attachment to an Evernote note, when you have a plan, it makes all the difference. But I have helped people go from unable to see their desktop picture because there were hundreds and hundreds of files on it to seeing this. Be- and I always make oh. them add like a motivational quote and a family photo. And it just changes their whole view when they open their mm. computer. <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah, That's incredible. I, that gives me a lot of anxiety to think about. I have an totally empty. I do too. It is empty. (laughs) You need to see it, (laughs) but everything gets shoved in my downloads folder. So it's just not great still. (laughs) Well, Well, I will tell you one of the, my favorite things is creating notebooks in Evernote. And if I have my downloads folder or my desktop, whatever, if it needs to go somewhere, like, you know, we, we grab screenshots throughout the day. I will take that whole thing of screenshots and drag and drop it into an Evernote notebook because yeah. I know Evernote's going to help me search yeah. that content in case I ever need it at another time, but I don't have to look at it. And that's the difference. That's, that's the magic. Brilliant. I think the kids these days call them receipts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Always it. be screenshotting. Well, um, <laughs> this has been mind blowing just already. Like first few minutes of this, I, I personally learned something. Um, but I want to dig into Evernote with you. Um, would you mind like kind of showing us some sure. tips and tricks in Evernote? I know uh, the month of October, we're talking about lists. So anything on your mind? Let, sure. Let's see it. Absolutely. So I put together just just a few little screens here that I wanted to go over because, you know, everyone has different scenarios and, and needs in their life or business of where they might need a list. And I know for me, I struggled often with follow up. Okay. Mm-hmm. Often, you know, how many times are we working with a client or we're, we're doing coaching or something and we're like, oh yeah, I'll send you that. Or, you know, they say an action they're going to take and you want to be sure to be able to follow up with them about that action. And I just, I have, I've used ever since 2013, Evernote has been just where I put all information for every single client I work with. And okay. so this is obviously a generic one, not a, not a personal one, but you should see some of my personal ones. They'll just scroll and scroll and scroll because every single thing related to this client lives in their note. Wow. Okay. But I put this together and I just, I thought I'd share this little tip in case someone doesn't know this already. Whenever you start a new note, a lot of people are looking at this blank canvas. They know they need to make a list. And I gain inspiration for the type of lists I want to build in a note from the gallery. And so many people just kind of ignore this. And there's some great stuff in here. (laughs) I love the gallery. And I think a lot of people might look through here and they say, well, ooh, menu planning. I need to make lists for what I'm going to cook for dinner. And there's no need to start from scratch. You can click on this and instant list. <laughs> I love it. I don't think I've ever seen this template before. In my life. Yes, there is <laughs> meal planning just like that. You have a wow. meal plan list. And if there's, and I love this, I love how it breaks things down, you know, obviously by categories and different things. Um, So easy to come in here, but I always also share that you don't have to use everything, right? You Mm kind of go through this and you're like, well, maybe I don't want to use it like this. Maybe I want to do something different. And that's kind of how I come up with all of my lists. So let me, let's do another example. So let's say I'm working on a project and maybe I want a project list. You can come up here and search and you can see all of these different templates related to projects. 
Okay. Which is so awesome. So you can come in here. Let's just click on this individual one. And right here, you have next steps, you have resources. Well, if there's anything I don't need, I might just, you know, take that out. Sometimes I come in here and I'll, I'll add extra sections. I'll start adding my own task list, but you get to customize these to work for mm. you. And that's what I love about it. So I really do encourage everybody to just come in here. I love that you can sort by work, by school, life things. There's so many good lists in here. <laughs> I mean, and we are amazing. adding more and more. Uh, one of the projects I just worked on is that new moon and the full moon, their reflection journals with uh -huh. like great prompts. Uh, those are really fun. Uh, and I know that Halloween movie checklist that, well, uh, that. Yeah, that's put together by the team at Evernote. We all pitched in on our favorite Halloween movies. I love it. Well, uh, every time I'm with my daughter, uh, who's married and lives in another state, I always, I'm always like, okay, what, what are we putting on our list as the next thing to watch? So we have a little list of movies and TV shows that we keep up with. So this is awesome. So another easy idea, whether you're doing checklists or tasks or all the things. So that is really where I get my inspirations from the gallery. That's so, so great. Yep. I love that resource. So keep those templates coming, Brittany. <laughs> Do you ever uh, um, save this as your own template once you yes. make it what you want it to be? Absolutely. So like if you saw my, mine has a few more things to it, but let's mm -hmm. say you've started this initial template with your client and you writing down everything, you know, you want to uh, remember for them. And you could have, you know, even a note section. I really I just kind of like even just typing in white space while they're sharing with me. But then as soon as that session's over, mm -hmm. now I'm coming in here and saying, okay, what are the key things I need to remember? I want a way to be able to check that off. Sometimes I'll set it up as a task, of course. So it sends me a reminder. I'll have a due date. But once you've created this initial thing, you 100% want to save this as a template. So you just come up here, right? Is that where I'm saying? it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I have my Zoom window here. But here it is right here. So okay. you just hit save as template. So I'm just going to say client, um, let's just say onboarding. Okay. List. All right. So I'm going to hit save. And now when you start a note, I love this. When you go to your gallery over here. I think it's up top. Oh, it's up top. My yeah, template. See it right here. And then these are all of the different templates that I've saved. So it's so handy because now when you have a new client, you don't even have to duplicate that note. This template's just sitting here waiting for you. <laughs> Ready to go. That's right. So cool. And then this you just feels like um, the cheat sheet, you know, like, have you ever pulled it up and been like, so how's your kid doing in college? Like, there's no way you remember that for all oh, of your clients. Not at my I mean, age, here. Brittany. Maybe I, at your you're age. here, aren't you? <laughs> you don't really remember. <laughs> I don't, I don't remember any of those things. Oh, no, I'll put in things about their family, things that they've mentioned. And remember, even if they email me, I will forward that email to Evernote and add it to their note. So wow. it, it literally has all of my communication. I, if I see something um, on the web, then I'm like, oh, this is an article that'd be great for such and such client. I clip it. I add that to this note. Everything lives in this note. And one little fun tip. So of course, let's just say this is my client, Sally Smith. Okay. And, and every time I have a new client, I'm adding this new template. I can also take these clients and make a very handy quick links list that takes me to all of their notes. Okay. So I love that. So let's say this is Sally Smith and then down here's client two. So I'm just holding down command on my Mac. You probably, I'm sure you probably do control on a PC, but uh -huh. I'm just highlighting all of my wonderful, uh, people, my clients here. And I, people don't even realize all these wonderful features that we have. Wow. <laughs> so I love coming up here and just grabbing this little app links. And then I'll go to maybe my clients right here. And then I just paste that. And so anytime you grab those little links, I can go to this kind of main coaching clients note and then quickly click right to client two, right to Sally Smith, right to whoever. So if you're not using these handy little indexes like this, 
I love that feature. That's so smart. Like what a quick way to, I don't know. Just that's almost like a, like a little custom homepage in and of itself. Just get it, It's almost like, mm-hmm. um, you know, in my recipes notebook, I do this a lot and I'll create quick links to all of my recipes. So it's oh. like a table of contents for your recipes notes. So I love having that. And then this is just a little table. So like, let's say you're working with clients. You can so easily track how many sessions they bought from you. You put the dates that they've met with you. And then right here, you're just linking right back to their notes, constant back and forth to like your main note and then all of your individual clients notes. So, so many possibilities. This is absolutely fabulous. I already have, again, ideas on ways I want to use it. (laughs) Well, and it's even with projects, a lot of times when we're working with projects, we're always hyperlinking back to like other notes and different things. Um, But I really do love that little index feature down here. Um, It's just so handy just to create those quick links for sure. Awesome. Yes. Well, thank you so much for sharing these tips with us. Absolutely. My pleasure. I feel so energized. Like I'm ready to go make some lists now. (laughs) Well, it's really fun. And like I said, if you go to the gallery, I think it just gives you inspirations. They have weight loss trackers in there. I mean, packing lists. There's just so many things for life and work and and school, of course. You know, I'm sure there's a lot of things in there too. Uh But I think it'll give you some inspiration of how to organize your lists. Um, you know, if you want, I know a lot of people like things looking a certain way or covering color codes, but I think Evernote just gives you a lot of possibilities. Very thankful. I love the flexibility. Yes. Well, uh, like I said, keep an eye on that template gallery. We add fresh templates all the time. Uh, and thank you so much, Lydia. I will link all of your information in the description box below. And if you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Great. Thanks so much, Brittany. Thank you.